Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to take a look at the Datashore Pro hardware encrypted USB 3 drive, which has been sent to me for review by my happy friends at iStorage. Now, about 18 months ago, I did a group review of encrypted USB drives, and the one that came out on top in my review was this one, a USB 2 Datashore encrypted drive. And ever since I've been using this drive almost every day to store secure data, you can see it's slightly abattered now from the competition with the keys in my pocket, but because I've been using this as a critical part of my computing kit for such a long time, I was really interested when iStorage said, why don't you take a look now at our USB 3 version? Right, here we are, here's the Datashore Pro in its protective packaging. And as you can see, it's basically a hardware device with its own keypad. So the way this works is you set up a secure code, and then you enter the code on the keypad here before you put this into the device you're going to use it on. Yes, that means there is a rechargeable battery in here, but it's rated for many, many years. And as I said already, I've used one of these devices, one of the early devices here, this Datashore for, for several years now. I've never had any problems with, with battery and, and getting into the device. One of the benefits of having the data encrypted in hardware is you can use this sort of USB key on any type of operating system. So as it says down the bottom here, this is rated to use on the Windows, on Mac, on the Citrix, Android, Linux, anything you want. All you have to do is enter your code and plug it in. You could even if you wanted put, for example, a Linux operating system onto a device like this would be completely secure, put in your code, plug it in, use it without your computer. But for now, I think the next thing to do is to get inside this. And because this packaging looks uh, rather tough, I brought today not just a uh, trusty Mr. Scissors, but also Stanley the Knife. But because it's going to take me a while to, to break through this, I think I'll do it by the magic of filmmaking. And uh, here we are, the unpackaged Datashire Pro USB drive. And it also comes just to show you with a little uh, quick start guide to show you how to set the, uh, the pin and, and the key code if, if you need to, to look at that. But uh, I don't need that. I've been using these drives for a while. It's a very, very secure, very nicely made. This is a aluminium cap that isn't going to get damaged. And the drive itself has got buttons, which I assure you the numbers don't rub off. I can prove that because here's uh, the one I've been using for a few years. Those, those numbers haven't worn at all. And it's got a very nice sort of rubber effect plastic on, on this uh, material around the drive itself. And if you put the cap on, you'll see it's a very, you might even have heard that, very secure fit. This is a, a drive that's not gonna lose its cap. And indeed, not only is the cap not gonna get lost, it is fully waterproof. I've got no hesitation in taking this drive, dropping it into a little bit of water there, giving it a nice little swell around. It'll be absolutely fine. This is a drive that'll survive the rigors of everyday life. And if we just take it out of there, Bring it back to uh, dry land, as it were, give it a bit of a, a dry off. It's got its own little uh, flannel here. Does your USB drive have its own flannel? Probably this one doesn't either. It's not going to keep it, is it? Just, just for now. But hopefully we'll discover if we take the, uh, the cap off, nice and uh, solid. I do like the sound of that seal. You'll see the drive is uh, absolutely fine. Right. Data on the Datashore Pro is protected by 256-bit encryption. And what you do is you set yourself a code, a 7 to 15 digit number, which you use to access the drive. And this will currently have the default code set, which is 11223344. You can't have 1234566, etc. It doesn't allow sequential numbers. And if you want to get into the drive, what you do is you first of all press the key button, like that, when you see the lights flash at the top, enter your code, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Press the key again, and you'll see the little red light will stop flashing, and you'll see the green light there, and you've now got, I think it's 30 seconds, to insert this into a computer. So if we do that, we'll stick it into the USB 3 port on my uh, netbook, there it is, look, and you'll see it has a very bright blue light flashes on the end. When everything sorts itself out, you've got a solid light, and the drive is ready for use. If you're thinking to yourself, how can you get around this? Well, I should tell you, you've only got 10 attempts to enter your password, your code. If you get it wrong after 10 attempts, then the drive will blank all the data on the drive. You can reset the hardware and use it again, but you'd never get back to that data. There is no backdoor in this system. 
If you're thinking to yourself, I could just take the drive apart and take the uh, memory chips out. You can't do that either. This drive is tamper resistant. It's got resin around all the internal components. You couldn't get the components out without breaking them. There really is no way in other than knowing the code to a Datashore Pro drive. Right, now it's time for a bit of testing. So I thought we'd take the Datashore Pro and I'd do some speed tests compared with the Datashore 2.0 drive. That's an obvious thing to compare it with. But I'm also going to compare it with the speed of this, which is a Corsair Voyager GT, which is the fastest USB 3 drive that I own. And I should say from the start that I expect the Corsair will win the test here because the Corsair isn't having to do hardware encryption on the data and the data sure is. So really what I'm trying to find is out is uh, how much faster is the Datashore Pro USB 3 than the Datashore USB 2 drive and what is the, the relative difference, the, the cost if you like, of having encryption compared with the Corsair drive. So if we move into a test, here I'm writing one gigabyte of files to all three drives, eight files of sizes between 40 and 283 megabytes, so quite big files. And as you can see, and as we expected, the Corsair wins, copying the files in, what, 15.6 seconds. That's a 65.6 megabytes a second. But the Datashore Pro is also very respectable, 21.3 seconds, about 48.1 megabytes a second. And as you can see, a very consistent write speed, which I imagine is determined by the speed of encryption, not the speed of writing data to the drive. We then need to speed forward in time quite a bit for the USB 2 Datashore. Still a very favourite drive of mine, but clearly nowhere near the performance of a Datashore Pro, coming in at a 340.3 seconds to copy the gigabyte of data, 3.0 megabytes a second. I'm sure you're also interested in read speeds, and if we move across to a read test, you can see it's almost finished by the time we arrive. The Corsair copying the one gigabyte of data in 5.0 seconds, that's a 204 megabytes a second. But again, the Datashore Pro, very respectable, 9.2 seconds, 111.3 megabytes a second. And once again, we then need to speed things on, whizzing through, we find that the USB 2 Datashore copies the one gigabyte in 96.4 seconds, 10.6 megabytes a second. So overall, the tests I think have shown very clearly that the Datashore Pro is a massive improvement in terms of speed, in terms of performance over the Datashore USB 2 drive, and it performs very respectively against a high-speed USB 3 drive like the Corsair Voyager DT, particularly considering the Datashore Pro is also implying hardware encryption. The Datashore Pro is a very nice premium computing product. Absolutely, it's not something that everybody needs. But if you do handle sensitive and personal and confidential data, and you do need to carry it around on a USB drive, which you, you could well have to do, for example, to keep an off-site backup, then it's worth considering a product like this. That's particularly the case when you start to think about the consequences of losing company data of personal sensitive data. For example, in the United Kingdom, if you are a business or a government department and you lose personal confidential sensitive type of data, you could be fined up to half a million pounds for that breach of the Data Protection Act. And therefore, walking around with data on non-protected drives is really a very dangerous thing to do. And in that context, you know, the price of a drive like this is a very effective insurance policy. But now that's it for another video. If you enjoy what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon. Oh,